you make your way back to the cart, which Thoric has managed to deftly hide. Night passes, thankfully, uneventfully. Uh, you wake up feeling more refreshed. So, are we going into this cave or not? I think we should do it quite um, stealthily, you know? Let's go. You make your way, um, once again, about five miles away from where the ambush um, that Saga and Johan fought off um, took place, um, following that trail until you come to this large cave in the hillside. You three go ahead, because I make a real racket and I like rattle my chain mail a little. <laughs> and I kind of rattle my, my chain mail as well. Kind of oh! Okay, I'd like to roll a uh, stealth and stealthily approach. It'll be a seven. Oh, sorry. Yes. Okay. <laughs> We're being really sneaky. Much like before, you hear bows being prepped and oh. pulled back. Let's roll initiative. I I try and run ahead of him to try and shield him from any potential arrows, jump out the thicket in anime style, and plunge my rapier into the thicket. So you plunge your sword straight into the thicket. You don't really feel much impact on the other side. It could be that the thicket's a bit thicker than you might have anticipated, perhaps. <laughs> At that moment, uh, you see a goblin rush out of the gap between the thicket and the hillside, um, looking to peg it for the cave and runs directly into Euthoric. I want to take my shield and I want to just basically crush the goblin against the the wall. Ooh. Um, to kind of like hurt him a bit, but also just restrain him. That is a, a 15. So you get the shield kind of <laughs> underneath his chin and kind of pin him up against the... Uh, the hillside. So he, he he kind of like pushes against you and kind of realizes very quickly this is this is over no. for him. He, it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> and then I kind of shove him and like grab him by the back of the neck mm -hmm. um, and take him away from the entrance of the cave towards the other three and just sort of take him somewhere that he's not gonna be too where we're not gonna be overheard by the cave immediately. You grab the goblin, take him aside, and get ready for whatever you have in store for him. So you, you you grab the goblin, take him aside, and get ready for whatever you have in store for him. Okay. I so. manacle his legs together so he can't run away. <laughs> you okay. have manacles? I do have manacles. Don't ask me why. <laughs> <laughs> so you manacle the goblin's legs together, or tie them up with rope, maybe. I do actually, I have rope, but I also have manacles, so I'm good oh, at Oh, you do have manacles. Perfect. Yeah. So you manacle his legs together then to restrain him even further. Mm. Saga just raises her eyes at the random manacles that appeared. <laughs> Thorig like shares a look with Saga like. Look at them both. I could see them looking at each other go, and I give them a look that says, it's not weird. <laughs> <laughs> While this is happening, I would like to walk past Johan, comment, nice manacles, and thrust the sword into the dirt next to the goblin uh, with an intimidation roll. Oh, yeah. Let's Ooh! I have a plus four in intimidation. I don't know why. What? Oh, well, it's only a ten anyway, so... <laughs> That's a ten with the plus four, With right? the plus four, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you... You, um, you shove the sword into the ground next to the goblin and kind of give it a... You stick your chin out at it, trying to give it a, you know, a boisterous kind of, like... Yeah we done you good kind of look. <laughs> and it just kind of 
gives you a puzzled look. <laughs> <laughs> As do most people who look at Sergi. <laughs> What okay. would you like to do next? Someone ask him a question. How many of you are there? Do you want specifics or? How many in the cave? Um, you see him kind of like trying to count in his head. Uh... I carry a wooden stake. I take it out. And I hold it. Is he lying down? Uh, he's kind of propped up against uh, a log. I hold it against his chest and gesture to Thoric's Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, very carefully, I lay my shield down and very carefully just like tuck my chin over the top of my Warhammer and just smile at the goblin. Like... <laughs> I hold the point of my stake against the goblin's chest. And I basically say very quietly count faster and you see him kind of hurriedly like looking like off into the distance trying to trying to count he says ah uh, um uh, uh there's well there's uh m- more than more than uh five and less than um 50. i don't like riddles <sighs> how many groups of five uh, uh, groups, groups of five. He kind of looks at you, <laughs> confused. I'd like to whisper to the uh, to the goblin. Uh, listen, Mister Goblin. Um, I have this man has held a similar implement to my throat before. It is not nice. Uh, so maybe just give him the answers you need, please. Um, uh, uh, there's probably a, a few less than twenty of us, I think. Please don't. Hurt me. <laughs> that depends um, very much on how useful you are to us. Oh, I can be—I can be very useful. Yes, very useful. Does this look familiar? And I hold up the brooch. Uh, no, but it looks very pretty. A dwarf carried it. Not me. A different dwarf. Have you brought a dwarf into this fetid hellhole? Um. A, 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 a dwarf? Um, no. I punch him. <laughs> to do damage or just to... Uh... Loosen his tongue. Okay. Do you want to give me an intimidate check? And maybe a tooth or two. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Um, Eleven. <laughs> Are we are we helping Johan with our? Just we're all four of us just. Standing oh sure, yeah. Let's go. Let's go with. Let's go with advantage on that. Okay. Sure. Uh, Nineteen. Hey. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, so he. So, so you punch him and he goes, "Ow! What? What do you need to know? What do you need to know?" Was there a dwarf that you took prisoner? Um, well, yes, a dwarf's been taken prisoner, but but he's not come here. Where, Where is he? Um, he, he's been taken to the castle. What castle? Um, our, our, our castle. Dwarf hammer. <laughs> <sighs> And I just sort of, um, <laughs> I want to cast light on my Warhammer. Okay. And I just, and in Dwarvish, I just want to very, like, slowly mutter my father's recipe for um, his homemade mead. But in a red, <laughs> like, in Dwarvish, so he doesn't understand what I'm saying. I'm just going to be like, four gallons of fresh spring water <laughs> from the mountains. Uh, Saga knows Dwarvish, so I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> Two quarts of fine, it. two quarts of fine heather honey, <laughs> and he's just gonna do like a one, <laughs> two towards the towards the stake. And you're you're casting lights at the same time on your hammer. Yeah, so it starts glowing and just like from like warm, warm. warm. <laughs> um, you, you see the goblin kind of start to panic and 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 really look at you as if you know this is not going to end well for him. And he goes, I, I, I can't. 
castle. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's northeast from here. About 20 miles. What do you want with the dwarf? Um, uh, well, we were told to get him. Who told you to get him? Um, uh, Clark. Who's Clark? Oh, oh, yes, Clark. He is our, um, our leader here in our hideout here. Is he in there? Um, and I point to the cave. Um, I can neither confirm nor deny the punch. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I cast punch. <laughs> punch him in his... Yes, yes, he's in there. He's in there. Yes, please don't hurt me again. Is Clark a goblin? Um, well, well, um, answer yes. faster. No, 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 he's not. No. Is he what? big? What uh, is big. he? He is a um bugbear. Oh. Would Was Thoric you... know what a bugbear is? Yeah, would would we know what a bugbear is? Yeah, give me some nature checks, please. Eight. Seven. Seventeen. Eight. Ten. Ten. Okay. Um, I would say... So, sorry, we've got eight, seventeen, ten, and... Seven. Seven. Okay. So, Saga and Thoric, you are definitely familiar with bugbears. Mm -hmm. um, these are of the goblinoid variety so they are you know somewhat cousins of goblins but these are usually much more brutish significantly bigger and um while still sneaky uh, whereas a goblin might avoid a, f a head on fight a bugbear would not be so cautious and be very likely to just try and beat the hell out of you um they are known very much for picking on other goblinoids of smaller variety um, to establish their authority. And what does Clark want with a dwarf? Um, well, he was told by our chief that he needs to capture the dwarf and send him to the castle. Was, the, um, was the dwarf brought here before being taken to the castle? Uh, no, 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 he wasn't. No, he said he oh, Do there. you still have prisoners in that cave? Um, prisoners. Um, prisoners. Raise fist. Uh, we have, we have one. We have one prisoner. Yes, one. Who? Uh, he is a man, um, human man. Um, he has green hair. Big shiny sword. Does this sound familiar to us? Uh, yes, it certainly does. Is it Bartolom, the yeah. knight? Uh, no, you might recall that when you met uh, Gundren, yes. Rockseeker, he did have a companion ah. with him um, who was due to head down to um, Fandolin with him. Yes. Um, and of note was his rather large sword on his back um, when you met him in the Beach Leviathan with Gundren. I see. Gundren's companion. Well, how... Uh... Can I go now? No. Oh. Kind of wholesome. Oh, okay. <laughs> how, uh, how do you like working for Clark? Um, well, he's... You know, he... He's okay, I suppose. It's not worth telling you, though. My name? Yes. Splug. Splug, listen. I was in a similar situation a long time ago to you. I worked for someone. I did not like it. I ran away. Uh -huh, you know Clark. Uh, yes, sure, I know Clark. He's very big, very nasty. Look. Yes, would you sounds like, like him, yes. Yeah. You, you're just trying to I survive, didn't say that. yes? I didn't, I didn't say it. I didn't, I didn't, don't tell do, him I do said you, that. Do you have a family? Oh, um, do I have a, yes. Yes, and would you like to protect that family? Um, well, sometimes they can be a bit nasty, I suppose. I don't really get on with them very well. Would you like to maybe run away from all your problems? Um... I run, what problems exactly? 
I don't know, maybe you could start afresh, start with a new, uh, new group of people, maybe. <laughs> um, why? Because we are very friendly and we could pay you more, maybe. Um, I hope you don't mind me saying, but this does not strike me as very friendly. This Neither whole... were you when you tried to kill us. You well, said yes, we're not friendly. Mercy. Um, okay. Um, Mercy is friendly, I suppose. Thoric rolls his eyes at uh, the others and just says, look, who was Clark answering to? You said your chief. Who's this chief? Oh, that's King Grohl. King, King Grohl. Grohl? Yes. And what is King Grohl? Uh, he, well, he's, he's our chief. What manner of creature is he? Um, well, I've never actually met him. We just hear from Clark what he wants to do. Is he a goblin? Or a uh, bugbear? Or what is he? Okay. Um, well, uh, I have heard that he might perhaps possibly be a bugbear like Clark, maybe. Hmm. But I've never met him, so don't put me on that. Can I kill him now? Oh, please don't kill me. Will you find yourself in the company of a King Sergi, a uh, Queen Saga, King Thoric, King King Johan. That's so a lot of kings. You, and a queen. Uh, maybe and a you would queen. like maybe but, you would like to uh, switch sides, you know, for a little bit. But I don't see any crowns on your heads. Thoric says in Dwarvish to Saga, I really don't want some stinking goblin following us around everywhere. Me neither. Can I kill him now? Please don't kill me. <laughs> Thoric shrugs. <laughs> And, uh, in fact, I'm just going to toss my Warhammer to Saga and step away. I have been very cooperative in your investigation. <laughs> I am making friends with this problem. And he kind of looks over at you, Sergei, and he goes, You seem particularly nice, yes. I don't Thank think you. we can trust him, even though I don't like unnecessary bloodshed. I don't think we can trust him, so... We could potentially use him as bait for a trap. This is true. His eyes are quickly shifting between you all, trying to gauge what's going to come next. We could gag him, take him into the cave, use him as bait. Do you also have a gag as well as manacles, Johan? I have many utensils. <laughs> Let's I... do that then. Come on, just, just shut, shut yes, him that up. Okay. Uh, okay, I sort of uh, lean close to so that only the goblin can hear me. We have use of you. Mm -hmm. For every word you utter that I do not like, I will break a finger. Whew. Can I just say something? That's five <laughs> fingers right there. <laughs> he shuts up very quickly. What do we want him to do? Well, we have to... We have to rescue the prisoner. Mm. Yes. He could this, uh... guide us through the cavern, if he knows what's good for him. And maybe it can uh, be some kind of leverage if we find other goblins. <laughs> I doubt we can use him as a hostage. <laughs> Well, awesome. if the other goblins dislike and let's go us... with Thoric's idea, shall we, <laughs> Sergey? Okay. I mean, I mean, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to take charge. I think everyone should have equal. <laughs> I disagree. Let's just go into this bloody cave. Okay. Uh, I draw my rapier and poke it in his back. Um, maybe we should uh, bind his hands with something a little less loud than manacles for now. Mm. And maybe uh, leave his legs free so he's not tripping over himself. I swap the manacles from his legs to his hands. All right. I have some rope. Uh, Good. <laughs> Shall we use rope instead, Johan? I'm, I'm, I know you're very attached to these things. Mm. I remove the manacles and mm. put them back in my 
Mary Poppins bag of tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Use the rope. Okay. Oh, find his hands. Little, little goblin, what was your name again? A uh, splug. Splug. That's three uh, more fingers. <laughs> as as we make our way to the cave, I assume we're heading into the cave, right? I'd like to just start chatting to Splug, get to know him a little bit. <laughs> as we're approaching the cave, Thoric will kind of just very, very kindly just sort of give Sergei a little squeeze on the shoulder. Just like, Sergei, I, yes. I think I think you're great, but we're going to have to be quiet now. Oh, because sorry, we're going to go Splug, into a. Be quiet now. Yeah, you too, Sergei, because we're going to go into a cavern filled with goblins, and you died yesterday. Thoric, I am known for my <laughs> stealthiness and my quietness. I know, I know. And we'll be fine. Yeah, you're known, you're known throughout the world for your stealthy <laughs> delights. <laughs> so let's, <laughs> let's show them what you got, right? <laughs> I'm glad the word has reached you, Thoric. Oh, I... That's just the noise that uh, Saga makes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that? Sorry. Just, just... Right. And I'll take my Warhammer back from Saga and be like, yeah. sorry, I forgot you've got one as well. So, so um, your Warhammer, is it still got light cast I, on it? I extinguish it for now, unless, well, I look at the other and be like, do we want light? I can't. If it's pitch black in there, I, we, we won't be able to see a thing. I light my shield. Because it's uh okay, sure. Okay, here's the plan. We we get to a point that came where we can spring an ambush. We let him go. He alerts the others, draws them to the mouth of the cave. Then we jump him. If what he said there was like how many uh, five to twenty goblins in there, Aye. that that could be facing a lot of goblins all at once. Can I ask, is the fact that he doesn't know the fact that he can't count or the fact that he doesn't want to tell us? <laughs> uh, give me an insight check. Ten. Ten. Um, bit of column A, bit of column B. <laughs> I give him a, a harder than usual jab into his back with my rapier and say, you better be telling the truth about the numbers in this cave, Goblin. Um, he, he kind of nods at you. He doesn't say a word for fear of losing, potentially losing a finger, but he nods at you, kind of panicked. Mm. So, as you're entering into the cave, um, the cave mouth itself is only about 10 foot wide. You've got the stream, which takes up about five to seven feet, and then you've got this narrow passageway on the right-hand side. So two questions. Uh, one, what is your kind of marching order as you're heading into the cave? And second, um, are any of you going to be in the stream or are you going to stick to the narrow path? Well, Thorak should go first because mm -hmm. he's the I... source of light. I'll I be right at the back. Okay. I follow behind Thorak with the goblin. And the goblin's just in front of you, right? Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on where he is by periodically jabbing him with my rapier. Sure. So that would presumably then put you, Sergei, behind Johan? Yes, and in front of Saga. Sure. Okay. All right. Yep. yep. <clears throat> okay. Um, so you head into the cave. Are you sticking to the, the path and just going single file, or are you... Yeah? I guess okay. so, yeah. I'm going to say to the goblin take us to where the prisoner is being kept and make sure that we avoid as many of your little friends as possible okay he kind of nods at you um very clearly understanding what you're saying he kind of raises his hand to speak and then thinks better of it um and just to avoid losing potentially any more fingers um so you enter through the cave mouth. Um, there's still a little bit of light coming in from the daylight behind you, but you can't see very far up the into the cave, but you can see that it does ascend um, with the stream flowing downwards, of course, out of the cave mouth. Um, and the, the 
stream is kind of splashing on the west side of the cave mouth with the, the path on the eastern side. And just inside that cave mouth to the east, you can see a few uneven stone steps leading to a small dank chamber on the east side of the passage um, with the shadows further into the tunnel. Um, as well, you can see that there's on the west hand side across from the stream further up, there is a side passage as well. So essentially you've got straight up into the main tunnel. You've got the uneven steps on the east taking you into a small chamber or further up there's a west hand passage, a west side passage that you're not sure where that leads at this point. What would you like to do next? Gut reaction was the dank chamber. Hmm. Ask, Ask the, the goblin. Yeah. I pull him towards me and hold the rapier to his throat. Say, if you scream, I'll kill you. If you alert anyone to our opposition, I'll kill you. If you say anything I don't particularly care for, I'll kill you. So I, you're going to have to work very hard to stay alive, mate. <laughs> 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 so, what is on the chamber to the left? Um, he says, uh, that's our kennels. Oh, on kennels. the left? On the left? Sorry. Yes. I misspoke then. That's the passage on the right. <laughs> Free information. Yay. Um, <laughs> We're going to get there, aren't we? <laughs> so, says, path to the east is kennels. Yes, and path to the west. Um, th that leads to a platform. Hmm. Interesting. We could use that as a vantage point. What is in the kennels? Hmm. Um, that's where we keep our walls. <sighs> Which way is the prisoner? Um, and he points directly up the main tunnel. I vote that way. Yes. Will Clark be there? Um, uh, he's in there somewhere. <clears throat> Are these wolves tied up? Um, they tend to be chained up, yes. Tend to be, or always? Um, most of the time. <sighs> Why are we dawdling? We need to save the prisoner. Yes, let's... We need a plan. We cannot bluster in there without preparation. Yes, because all your plans have been so foolproof so far. <sighs> Are we going or not? Right. We go north. You're heading further into the tunnel? I Yes. Um, yes, I think. We could draw said, them to this part of the tunnel if we let the goblin go. We need to get the drop on them. There could be up to 20 of them and several wolves and a bugbear. Um, of note to you as well, by the way, guys, um, you can see just on the kind of edge of the, the light, um, you can just make out in the shadows of the ceiling to the north a, the dim shape of a rickety bridge of wood and rope crossing over the passage ahead of you. Ooh. So there's another what? passage that clearly intersects this one, which is about 20 feet above the floor of the cave. That could be fun if we draw them to the bridge and then cut it. Oh, yes. Well, shall we take your little friend up there then? Does the platform to the west lead to that? And I point to the bridge and ask the goblin. Um, Answer. He, he, he shakes his head. How do we get up there then? Mm. And then he points back up to the north of the, so the main passageway. Right. Yeah, I think we should, um, should we just continue up the passageway? Mm. Yes. I think if these wolves were going to be a problem, they would yeah. have sniffed us out already. I'm exactly. wary of us being 
like done in the back by the wolves. Okay, the music's changing, so we should just carry on heedlessly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I said fast music. <laughs> I would like to cast uh, guidance on Saga. Okay, just, which uh, is just a cantrip. So up to a minute before the spell ends, you can add a D4 to a ability mm-hmm. check of your Thank choice. Thank you. Because okay, Thoric can't be stealthy, so if you wanted to be stealthy, it'd help you out. <laughs> okay. So you're heading up the passage? Aye. Okay. As you head up this this steep passage with the stream flowing down the side of you the passage is suddenly filled with a mighty roar as a huge surge of rushing water pours down I need you all to please make a dexterity saving throw please okay can I use the guidance you yeah. certainly oh, can yeah, mm, yeah. I think so uh, uh, unnatural 20. Nice. 13. 12 plus 5 is 17. Mm. 12. Nice. No, 13 and I didn't do my modifier. Dex modifier, right? Yeah. What? Saving? Yeah. Saving throw, yeah, that makes it a 15. Okay, so you hear this rush of water come down and all of this water just plummeting through this tunnel and you all just leap out of the way, kind of pinning yourselves against the wall um, as the water just floods past you. Where's the goblin? Uh, The goblin's with you. He's he's not, he's not gone anywhere. What was that? Are you talking to the goblin? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um... It, it, it was it was a flood. They happen in this cave sometimes. Was it a trap? Um. He kind of pauses and hesitates. <laughs> I presume my rapier against one of his fingers. Um, yes, it was. Yes, yes, it was. You're gonna uh-huh. tell us it was, about it wasn't me. Every... It wasn't me. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. You're gonna tell us about every other trap that we come near. All right. Um, okay. But what if I don't know about them all? Uh, that's the thing. You do. Um, And if one happens and you don't tell us, and I nod at your hand and say, you're going to end up looking like this. (laughs) (laughs) He he kind of nods and and, and panics. How is that trap activated? Did somebody spot us? Um... It's certainly a possibility, yes. I, I mean, hit I didn't... With, with the uh, hilt of Moravia. Oh, how? Um, well, I mean, I didn't set it off, so presumably somebody has seen you, yes. Fuck. Great. Well, shall we? With yeah. Rumbled. Sing. Oh, what are you doing? If we've been Rumbled, there's no point in keeping him alive, is there? Oh. My yeah. best friend. Okay. Uh, You're so, your monster. So how are you? Do, how are you doing this? I think he just slit his throat, didn't he? Uh, let's, for sake of mechanics, let's roll with advantage to hit, and then see how much. <laughs> if he might you he, miss. He might. He might. Tr- he might try and run for it. Uh, that would be. 24. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Uh, and let's go with the uh, damage then and see see if you manage to actually take his throat out. Oh. Four. Okay. <laughs> um so you, you manage to get you manage to get his his neck, but you don't ma- he he kind of sees it coming, so he manages to pull away to a degree before you manage to get that full cut in. So you kind of gash his neck, but you don't necessarily fully pierce the skin. Um, he's bleeding a it's fair bit, skin. though. Oh, damn it. Is, is, it, is it? Yeah, you've not you've not fully like cut the throat open, shall we say? You've cut his throat, but not open, if that makes sense. Okay. So it's 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 bleeding quite heavily, but he's not 
there's no it's not a full-on hole that you can you know at least that'll stop him screaming anyway yes <laughs> what and what he kind of he kind of panics and kind of holds his hands up like as if you know he doesn't want any more and then uh, he does try and leg it um, at this <sighs> point uh, but based on your marching order the person he's got to get past at this point aside from Johan of course who might want to grab him anyway um, between is you Sergei oh. <laughs> oh. do you want to stop him from running away or do you want to is he running towards the cave entrance yes well, I'm going to definitely try and grab him if he goes by a circuit. <laughs> I'm going to step aside and let him go. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to try and grab him. Okay, sure. Let's go with a... Um, let, let's go with a... I suppose he's going at speed, so shall we go with a dex check? Standard dex, okay. dex check. And he can uh, compete against you on that. 15. Uh, standard dex check, that's an 11. Oh, you're going for it as well, Johan? Yeah, I want to finish this kid. Oh, okay. Uh, he actually rolled an 18. Um, so he kind of... Sergei's let him aside. He sees you come in. Johan, you try and grab him, but he's kind of like shifted out of the way. And then kind of he just goes for the stream to try and dodge you, mm. Saga, and just kind of runs through the water and runs past you out of the cave mouth. How far away is he from me? Uh, by this point now, he's... Um, I was in from when he first tried to run. Well, I suppose to be fair, after he gets past Saga. Yes, after he gets he's... past Saga, he's going to be a good 15, 20 feet away from you. That's that fine. And, um, I would like to... Uh, <laughs> draw my hand axe from my belt and throw it at his back. Ooh. Okay. Roll to hit then, please. Um, hand axe. Uh, action. Uh, okay, it's still plus four, and it's... You said he was 20 foot away so it's not disadvantaged currently because I think it's okay. 20 to 60. Yeah, 20 to 60. That's fine. Six. Ah, oh, man. So you, you try and quickly hurl this hand axe at him um, and it just uh, hits the cave wall uh, opposite where the stream kind of come like right into the entrance of the cave wall and just pings off and lands back in the stream and he just darts out of the cave mouth. Good luck in the great wide world, plug. Sergey, you might have just what killed us all. It is fine, he will, he will go. And get more of them to kill us. You I idiot. did not think that far ahead. <laughs> no, you didn't. Idiot. It's fine, he, we made friends. Thorin was... wags his finger at all of them. Right, you, Sergey, go get my hand axe. And you, and he points at Johan. He might have been able to tell us where all the traps are. Now, we're literally in the dark. I extinguish the light from my shield. Can you see? Can you see? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can. I light my shield back up. Now you can see. Do you see the situation we're in here? Yes. Here's your hand axe, Fordic. Thank you. <laughs> It'd be a miracle it. if we survive this. Now let's go. I light a torch. I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So you make your way further up the tunnel. You get all about five, ten feet before you feel a rumbling under your feet and the, the tunnel once again starts to fill with water and you hear stone broken and more water just gushing. Mm down the tunnel towards you. Can you all make a dexterity saving throw, please? Guidance only works once, right? Aye. Um, only lasts a minute. Yeah. 12? 16. 17. 8. 
Okay, Saga, Thoric, Johan, you pin yourselves against the wall again. Um, but this one, Sergei, just catches you slightly <laughs> off guard. Oh, Can shit. I try and grab Sergei? Uh, sure. Um, in front of well, me. what I was going to say was that, uh, Sergei, you can take a uh, strength saving throw to try and hold on to something. So with um, Saga trying to grab you as well, I think you can do that with advantage, I'd say. I grab Saga so that we're all like... <laughs> Monkey chain. <laughs> Is that necessary? Oh, 18. 18? With, advan- with advantage, yeah. Okay, nice. Um, nope. So you... It catches you kind of under your feet and goes to kind of like Whoa. literally lift you off your feet. And then you, you, Saga just grabs hold of you and you grab hold of her arm and she just hoists you back onto the pathway. Saga, um, help. Thank you. <laughs> no more stupid decisions, Saga. What a morning. Let's go. We should strike ahead before more goblins come in behind us. Right. Okay. And you make your way up the tunnel further into the depths of the cave. <laughs>